The opening ceremony of the International Exhibition and Museum of the Life of the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, and Islamic civilization took place a few days ago. Prince Faisal bin Salman, governor of Medina, where the museum is located, and chairman of the Medina Region Development Authority, hailed the mission and objectives of the exhibit and museum, which not only achieves one of Saudi Vision 2030's goals by boosting the kingdom's cultural tourist attractions, but also uses cutting-edge technology. The International Exhibition and Museum of the Life of the Prophet and Islamic Civilization was launched under the supervision of the Muslim World League, MWL, and is the first in a series of Islamic museums scheduled to be constructed around the world under the organization's umbrella. Located next to the Prophet's Mosque in Medina, the museum is open 24 hours a day and is dedicated to the history of the Islamic world and the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and his progeny. Prince Faisal said the contents of the exhibition and museum represent a historic legacy from which to spread the correct prophetic approach to all parts of the world so as to demonstrate the tolerance and moderation of Islam. In a statement, the MWL stressed it aims to install the spirit of love and, God and goodness and the meanings of mercy, humanity, moderation, tolerance and coexistence, as well as to spread the message of Islam among people using state-of-the-art means. The exhibition features dozens of paintings and interactive displays. At the moment, there are seven languages available to visitors – Arabic, English, Spanish, Urdu, French, Turkish and Indonesian. It also includes a 4D AX theatre, which screens a series of films about the Prophet's life. One of the 25 pavilions in the exhibition is dedicated to the history of women in Islam and showcases the important part women played in the early days of Islam by spreading a message of truth and virtue and the vital role women played in the life of the Prophet, peace be upon him, and his family.